nine minutes away from the Super Bowl. And I can only imagine what these players are feeling right now. The players, they know they're 60 minutes away, Jim, from the Super Bowl. So don't let that excitement affect your play today. Just concentrate on the moment. Make sure you play each play one at a time. They come to the line, and it's first down. It's a two tight end formation. To the ground. He'll go left. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Second down following the run. Offense lines up here. Handoff by Manuel. Left side. Harris is there that time for the tackle. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Well, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense going to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out. They'll throw it over the top. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Manuels lined up. Empty backfield from the gun. It's Gresham. Gresham's tackled down at the 50. When the offense crosses the 50-yard line on defense, you have to be careful now because it gives the offense a little confidence. And what they're going to do here, they're looking for the big play down the field for that quick score. So on defense, you better play safe. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback space. Second down and six. Gets the handle here. It's Richardson making the tackle. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Goodwin's in the slot. Third down and four. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Mounties get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Bill, you came through in the clutch many times in the postseason. Was it you just weren't as prepared for the regular season? You just didn't care as much? Why did you star so much in the playoffs? Well, you're right. It's just a regular season game, so nobody cared. So I wanted to wait till the spotlight was on. Second down following that incompletion. The Toronto Mounties come out in a bunch set. Halfway through this first quarter now. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. The Mounties put themselves in a tough situation here. On second down, you run the football. And what do you do? You lose yards. Now you got third and long coming up. You got to be careful in situations like this. Everything goes to the side of the defense. Third down and 13. Gresham. Gresham's met at the 16. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The long drive continues. Handoff. Middle. Gains 15. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? First and goal. Right. Runs it across. Touchdown. Nothing like scoring first in a conference championship game. I'm not a big stats guy, but your chances of winning when you score first in a conference championship, your chances of winning are about 85%. How about that? The Mounties now will tack on the extra point. Helmet. Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Kickoff. 
first down here. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Still got it after the play action. Catch made. Gains 18. Smith selling his play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. First down and 10. And that gains a few. Second down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Throws the pass. No separation at all. Incomplete. Here's a look at the defense with its ball-hawking secondary. Third down and seven. He'll fire it out to the left. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense is happy to get off the field. They stopped the third down try by the offense, but they're upset because they had a chance for the turnover, and they dropped a sure interception. The offense is going to stay on the field now for this fourth and seven. Geno Smith under center. The Black Knights snap it at the 41. Throws to the right. Ooh, they fail to pick up the first, and the ball will go back to the other side. The Black Knights decided to go for it on fourth down that time, and, uh, hey, it didn't pay off. And, of course, the coach, look at him now. He is second-guessing his decision. First and ten. Takes it from the eye. Heading right. Brought down at the 38. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Second down coming up. Two tight ends on the field here. Hand off made. And he'll try it left. Brought down at the 32. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Third and short. Again, the lean on them. Henderson's there to make the tackle. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Back to him. He's tackled at the 30. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Manual set. Everybody emptied out for this snap. From the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. And that's a gain of nine. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The Mounties on offense here to start the second quarter. Second down now. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And that's a two-yard game. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. It's Gresham, games five. Jim, when you get down the red zone, you have to be very careful as a quarterback not to turn the football over. Good decision that time by the quarterback. Gets the completion, and they get a nice, solid pickup that time. They'll run it here. It's a game of eight. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First down here after the run. Another handoff right back to him. Runs it across for the touchdown. I think everybody in the stadium, they knew where this football was going, didn't they? It was going to one of the best running backs in the NFL. You give it to him near the goal line, he'll find a way to get in there. Lined up now in kickoff formation.
Runs up to grab it at the four. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Geno Smith takes the field for another time. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Geno Smith under center. Second down and 10. Keeps it here. Now on the move. Running room. And he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. Number seven. On the carry. It'll be third down. Under, under, under. Will go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Takes off with it. Has space. Steps out of bounds. Ah, oh, the coach is calling. Hey, nice job, son. Nice job. Anytime the quarterback takes off on a pass play and picks up a first down, it makes the coaches feel really good. First down here. They come out in the dime package. Will run it. Here's the handoff. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. They're able to move the chains after that last run. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Getting away from the pressure. Throwing now to his left for a gain of about five. It's now second down. Geno Smith under center. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Games well. The Black Knights offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. He has the grab, and Douglas is brought down. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. And that'll gain just a few yards. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line, so what will the offense do? They, they better be creative, that's all I know. Touchdown, and this game just got a whole lot more interesting. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score. They did that. Now, the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. It's a touchback this time, so Manuel will start this drive from the 20. The Toronto Mounties are getting set for their next possession. Wide receivers are bunched up. Now first and ten. They give it to him on the counter. Breaks at the tackle. That's a tackle right near the 48. The Mounties offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field. Room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Goodwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Has his man, Sheldon Richardson, able to bring him down. You need balance in the NFL. That's what it's all about. Why do you want balance? To keep the defense guessing what's coming next. That play call on first down throw. Uh, nice throw and catch just short of the first down. The Mounties have it at the 44. Pulls it in. Good piece of tackling. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. Halftime, two minutes away. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. They'll go ground. Wide to the left. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Manuel's lined up. Two tight end set. Second and three. Takes it again. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first.
first down. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. First down here after the run. Manual from the gun. Looking across the middle, gets it out for the completion. Game's play. That's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Black Knights are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. They face first down. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And he's in for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Makes the PAT. And Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. He'll take it from the six. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down, offense ready for the snap. Keeps it on the play fake. It's Douglas, and Douglas is brought down. Perfect defense call that time. They have double coverage on the wide receiver. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Hills lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. He'll keep it on the play fake. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? And now they'll try over again on second down. Geno Smith under center. Down the field. Very nearly intercepted. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Third down on the way. Offense lines up here. Keeps it here. Has his man. Brought to the ground. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that long. Uh, it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. This play set up by the long gainer. Play action fake, looking to throw. The defense gets a sack. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but Try to protect yourself because you're going down. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Patterson's going to run this one out. And he's going to be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. First down coming up. Hey, 
They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. That'll stop the play right there. It's now second oh, no, down no, and no. seven after the three-yard rush. Now the offense in their hurry up. With two hands, he has it. Games 16. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. Here's the handoff. Nice tackle. If you want to run the football to success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Scrambling now. Beautiful job that time by the QB. He goes back there in the pass play. He doesn't like what he sees, and he just takes off and gets the yards and gets a first down. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Black Knights official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Powell's handed the football. After being stopped at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. The jumbo set on the field. Eyeing that left side. Almost intercepted that time. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. They're setting up screen. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. First down here after the completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go. If you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. He made it. And the kicker's ready to go. They're setting up the return. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Mounties ready to take over the football. Manuel's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Will go ground. That picks up seven. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second and three after that last carry. Gresham's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Got the completion. He's taken down at the 47. Well, the defense, they give them a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. You got to take some chances. Go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Trying to plow ahead. They'll mark him at the 40. Second down and three, following that nice run. Goodwin's a receiver in the slot. They feed it to him one more time. They bring him to the turf. A lot of people talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's overblown, but in a situation like this, where you're winning a close game in the second half, you want to control the tempo, control the clock, keep getting those first downs. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Go! 
right back to him one more time. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. This offense relies on this running back as, as much as any offense in the NFL. That's the reason why he's in the top 10 of carries so far this season. Second and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Tim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Finds Gresham. He stacked up at that point. Tim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First and goal from the seven. Throws to the right. Intercepted. He's brought to a halt. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense. And finally, he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. It's first down as they head to the line. Patterson's lined up in the slot. Left side. Picks up about two. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw at that time when they stopped the play for a short game. Second and nine. Running away from the pressure. Running room. First down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. The last 30 seconds of the third quarter, and it's second down. Second and six. They call his name again. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They're going to the hurry. Scrambling out of the pocket. Into the open. Games 13. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Play number six coming up on this drive. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Defense comes out in the dime. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Quickly to the line. Second and three. Play fake. Got a hand on it, forcing the incompletion. Williams is able to get his hands up and knock that football down that time. That just drives. A quarterback crazy, but give all the credit to the defensive lineman for timing that jump just right. Amaro's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. The Black Knights take it from the 23. Amaro's got the catch and the first. The Black Knights, good job that time, moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're got you down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Second down and 11. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in in his area. Red to quarterback and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. This has been a long drive so far. And he takes off. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. 
There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Everyone's lined up for this kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. The Toronto Mounties come on to the field for their next series. Offense lines up here. First down at the 20. The give. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Coming up, second down. Manuals back in shotgun formation. Pulls it in. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. When you can't hit the quarterback to put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. First down and 10. It's the old counter play. Nelson's there to take him down. What a beautiful long run by the running back. Uh, once again, he just proves why he's one of the best in the NFL. He's in the top 10 so far this year. Goodwin's in the slot. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. The Mounties now moves the chains. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Manuel is going to take it from the gun. It's Gresham. Wilson's there to make the tackle. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. That's second down coming up. To the ground. Going to lose yards here. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense that time. They diagnosed the running play. They got in the backfield, and they tackled the runner for a loss. Offense lines up here. Manuel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Finds his mark. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The game is tied, and time is a factor. The give out of the eye. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Not much time left here, and the defense will need to come up with a stop to maintain the time. Makes the catch in the open field. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. The Mounties have it at the 24. Takes it on the counter. Popols is the one who made the big stop. Well, you have good team speed on the defensive side. You can make plays just like this. You can get it in the backfield and tackle the running back for a loss. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Mounties official. They wouldn't specifically say what the injury was other than it's an upper body injury that won't stop him from returning. Back to you. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Marching down the field and taking their time. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Failing to connect their third down. This long drive continues from the gun. The defense gets the sack. 
Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. Timeout called by the defensive unit. Andy Lee will be punting this one. Touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Black Knights come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. They come out in the dime package. He's scrambling now. It's away from the stack. Nice awareness that time by the quarterback. Sometimes when you drop back, don't be too stubborn. Stand in that pocket and take a hit. If you have to run, take off. He gets it done that time and picks up a first down. First and ten. No one in sight. Has the grab. Williams in on the tackle. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. First down at the 40. Gets it out for the completion. He's tackled right at the 24. So, 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 so. Going to go to the hurry up with under a minute to play. First down at the 24. Sticks to his hands. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. Geno Smith under center. Second down and five. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. The Black Knights come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. They bring in the extra tight end. Now first and ten. Powell's got it on the handle. And that's a gain of 10. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can pull it with a run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. This will be second down. Gets the handle here. The Black Knights get a first down. The Toronto Mounties. Defense will stop the clock here with under two to go as they want to preserve the clock. At the line, they're in great. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. That's what you want to do. When you're behind late in the game, you get the football. You want to drive down the field, eat up the time off the clock, and score the touchdown to put your head. What a job by the offense. Ready to step up and send this one down to the end zone. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Offense lines up here. First down at the 20. Manuel still has it. Launching it deep. Could have been intercepted. 
So coming off an incomplete deep pass here in the last 30 seconds, there just aren't that many plays you can call right here when you're desperate. No, there's not many. And look, you got to throw it down there. You got to hope for your skilled athletes to make a play. The defense was ready that time. I expect another deep throw on this upcoming play. And the defense gets to him for the sack. And now they'll have to rush it back to the line of scrimmage for the next snap. Keeps it here. There they are, the winners of the Lamar Hunt Trophy, the new AFC champions. Well, today we identified the best team in its conference. Going on now to the big stage and the Super Bowl. To win a conference championship, that is so exciting. But then to sit back and think, we are going to the Super Bowl. That is something that you just can't even dream sometimes when you think of the good stuff that the game can bring you. But an exciting game today, going to the Super Bowl, it's just all wonderful, wonderful stuff. So we have a conference champion, and the Super Bowl matchup is now all set. For Phil Simms and all the crew, Jim Nance saying we'll see you next at the Super Bowl.